Hey guys, welcome back. So behind me, I got a 2008 Toyota Camry. Now I previously did a video on this car showing you guys how to smoke the intake system to find where the leaks were. Now I realized that not a lot of you are going to have that smoke equipment. So this car, it's severe enough to where I could show you another method that you guys can do at home. Now this method will work if the leak is big enough. It doesn't always work to the best effect, but I figure if you have something like this going on, it should be able to show you. And I'll kind of show you how to spot the differences and things like that. So let me get you guys set up by the engine bay and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So in the last video that I did the smoke test on this vehicle, you guys saw that it was smoking out of here and the intake manifold gasket is basically the source of the leak. But since not everyone has the smoke machine like I do, I'm gonna be using brake cleaner uh, to figure out where my leak is. Now, I already know where it is, guys, but this is a method that you'll do at home, you know, if uh, it is severe enough. Now, you can use brake cleaner. That's a more common thing. Sometimes you can use carb cleaner. Um, I definitely uh, will say do not use ether. Um, and again, I'm gonna make this very clear. Do not use ether or starting fluid. That's a good way to start a fire. All you want to do is use brake cleaner. That's what I've always used or some sort of carb cleaner. Now, what you're going to want to do to do this test is you're going to start the car and you're going to basically spray brake cleaner uh, around, you know, your vacuum ports, your intake manifold area and things like that while the car is running. And what you'll notice when that happens is if the car has a big enough leak is you'll see the engine kind of, you know, stumble or it may start revving up. Um, let me get this car started and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay guys, so I have my engine running now. This is a cold start and I have my brake cleaner now. You may have a can of brake cleaner. I use this device that sprays brake cleaner. It's the same thing like a can. And what you're going to want to do is just spray around the areas where you suspect the leak. So if I was testing this car for the first time, I'd want to spray around here you know, around the engine area, my intake duct area, things of that sort. Now you want to be careful because you do have a hot exhaust. You don't want to start a fire. But in this case, our leak is back here. So let's see what happens when I spray back there. So I'm sure you guys can see when I started spraying back here, the engine started dying down and stumbling because I'm introducing extra fuel inside the engine. Let me go ahead and cut this off and I'll explain why it's doing that. Okay guys, so I got you guys repositioned here. Now the car was running, I sprayed brake cleaner right back here and you guys saw the engine started stumbling. So let me get into a little bit about why that happens. Now every engine has a certain amount of air that it requires and it adds a certain amount of fuel to keep it running. It's already predetermined by the computer. The computer does the calculations on the fly. Now the way most engines work is your air filter, wherever it's located, in this case this one's here. If you guys notice up here you have a mass airflow sensor. Uh, there could also be a map sensor depending on the kind of car you have. You know they have different varieties of measuring but these are the two most common. So this one has a mass airflow sensor. Air enters in here. The sensor measures how much is going to the engine and then based on that calculation the computer knows how much fuel to spray in each cylinder so it gets the optimum burn. Now when you have a situation where you have a lean situation which is what we have here and what a lean situation is when you're getting extra air that is unmeasured going inside the engine uh, your engine will start you know revving up because it's getting extra air and your computer is trying to compensate for that so it'll add extra fuel and just try to figure it out but it really can't compensate too much it just kind of goes berserk trying to figure out what's going on because normally it likes to be in control now what I did when I added the brake cleaner in there is I actually introduced extra fuel. And if you guys notice, I added extra fuel and the engine started bogging down because it was actually compensating for the fuel that was in there. That's why you guys saw that bog down situation with the engine. Um, the best way to explain this and what I've been taught is you don't want a lean fire or a lean situation. A lean fire is a hot fire versus a rich fire, meaning you have too much fuel in there with the air it is a little bit less hotter. Uh, now both can do damage. Uh, if you run a rich fire or a rich condition in your engine, you will wash down your cylinders and score them and, you know, things like that. If you run a lean fire, what normally happens is you melt parts like valves or, you know, burn up a piston, you know, whatever that, all that stuff could happen. So the best way to think about it is a rich fire is like, imagine you have a campfire, guys, and you throw fuel on it. You get a big flame, but other than that, you don't really get a lot of heat. But you add some air to that. If you guys ever had a little ember that's just glowing and then you blow on it and it, 
instantly just you know starts a fire that's what a lean fire is it's very very hot you definitely don't want that in the engine situation so this method is very useful for you guys at home because i know you guys won't have access to a smoke machine so i figured i'd show you this because the last video that i did frankly i kind of felt crappy about it because i know you guys are watching this trying to do this stuff at home and you guys do need methods of how to do stuff like this at home without taking it to a shop or buying expensive tools so i figured i'd make this little quick tip video now this doesn't always work guys if it's a very small leak sometimes this method doesn't work that great if you got a pretty good sized leak it will pick it up so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and with that, please comment, like, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, my channel's been growing, and I'm very thankful for that. That wouldn't be possible without you guys commenting, liking, and subscribing to my channel. So thank you very much for that, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next repair.